In today's video, we'll go through a tool for mid-journey. This tool will be quite useful in the creation of our photos. What exactly do I mean? To get images like this, we must use prompts that are very complex, which is why not all of us use them. This is how a prompt looks like. That is where this tool will help us create the best prompts for mid-journey prompts. Let's generate an image to show you how to use it. To use this tool, we must first add some text of what we want. In this case, I want mid-journey to create a cat with blue eyes for me. From here, the magic begins. We have many options for the creation of our works of art. For example, if we start with the styles, we can see that we have a lot of variety. Interesting styles such as 16-bit or 1900s are some of this great variety. In the next box, we can add types of lights. Like the styles, we have many options. Some of the ones that people use the most are the backlight or glow stick. This depends a lot on your needs. We have an option to choose the type of lens which is very useful when we want to give it that different effect that each camera lens creates. For the example I will choose DSLR. This section is one of the most interesting. With one click we can give it that artistic touch that the best artists in the world have. I recommend the one by Andy Warhol. It gives color to the photos. The next section it's for color types. When we want the photo to have a color that stands out, this can be useful. For example, if we want a photo with a lot of colors, we can use RGB color. Then we have the material section. is used to give the image a different texture in general. For example, if you want a gold or slime-like texture. Then we got the next section which can change the size of the photos. It is quite handy for giving the proper framework to YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels, for example. I recommend leaving the depth of field, quality, and stylized settings at their default settings. When I included these last three options, I saw that the results were not much different or even results that I ended up not liking at all. We can also tell the tool what we don't want to appear in the image. In this case, I'm going to add no dogs on it. There is also this bar, which plays a vital role. The more we add, the further the visuals will deviate from reality. I think 1.3 it's good. When you have the command ready, copy it, but make sure to only copy what comes following the prompt. In Discord we use slash imagine to generate the image and then paste our command. I don't know what you think, but the result is from another world. And if you want to know more about Mid Journey, I invite you to watch the video that appears on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.